60. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe. We're almost at that thousand mark. Uh, we have some awesome video for you today. Uh, last weekend, my wife and I got to go to the Bronco Off Rodeo. Um, if you're on YouTube, and I know you've seen some videos about the Bronco Off Rodeo, if you don't know what it is, it's actually basically it's a training class. It's an off road class where you get to drive Broncos um, on a huge ranch and uh, up awesome rock formations uh you get it's a learning experience that you get to do uh, we drove these broncos almost six hours uh so we got a lot of seat time in with an instructor um it's really really awesome if you have a bronco on order or if you have a bronco sport badlands or i believe a first edition bronco sport then then you are invited by ford uh to to go uh to these um uh events uh, basically, uh, there's a few across across the country. We went to the one that's uh, it's called Bronco Off Rodeo Austin. I believe it's closer to Mesquite, Texas. But anyway, it was very, very, very exciting. Uh, I've never had so much fun going between two and four miles an hour. So uh, uh, you're gonna love this this video. Um, we got to actually ride the instructor rode with us, so we were the first vehicle. Um, the Bronco that we had had a winch on for recovery, but um, the line we took, everyone had to take our exact same line. So uh, I learned a lot. Uh, you know, I'm a Mustang guy. Don't know anything about off-road. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert on off-road, but I learned a lot. And I think you're going to love this footage. Wake up time for the Broncos. Okay, we've made it to the Bronco off-rodeo. Uh, we're going to have some fun today. Uh, there's a lot of instruction, a lot of driving, a lot of hands-on. Really, really excited about this, so stick around. There are technology on our Badlands or first edition that can help us. Stay bar, ah, stay bar disconnect. Stay bar disconnect. Absolutely. So we can press that first button on the dash, and what's going to happen? We're going to gain 17% more articulation. Does anybody know what 17% more articulation is? A lot. Six to eight inches. That's a number people understand a little better than 17%. 17% of what? Yeah. Six to eight inches of suspension travel you can see and understand. Bubble, if you will, reach up on that dash. Press the first button for me. Oh. There nice. you go. Who's trying to warn me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come forward for me, Papa. All right, hold it right there. What's happening, folks? He's not locked. We've used our articulation, right? Right. So. We can't gain any more articulations to keep our tires on the ground to do what? To use the traction that's available. What can we use that will help us? Locker. Rear lockers. Locker. So right now, folks, what do we see? Front tires on the ground. Two front tires are basically on the ground. This left rear is off the ground. So as a driver, you have to learn how to interpret that. We can see it standing out here, but Pablo, what can you see right now? Nothing really, unless he was to do what? Use that mirror that we turned down and in to see that tire to see that that tire is off the ground. As you can see folks, sometimes I'm digging and zagging a little here, right? Hold right there. Why am I doing that? Getting those tires on the peaks of those rocks as we're going through there. Um, also, if you noticed, as we're driving through here and pointing, he's turning the wheel and then he's doing what? He's turning back to center. He turns a little and then he's going back to center. Did I instruct him to go back to center at any point? No. Nope. So unless your spotter has told you to turn that wheel a different direction from where he told you to turn it, you don't turn it back. Stop right there. Turn that steering wheel as hard as you can to the driver's side. Leave it there. Once you get there, hold it. 
and gently give me enough throttle just to keep that Bronco moving. I should not see sand flying anywhere. We see that tire lock up? <laughs> That's crazy. Jeez. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. another six foot stop right there turn that steering wheel as hard as you can to the driver's side leave it there once you get there hold it and gently give me enough throttle just to keep that Bronco moving I should not see sand flying anywhere you see that tire lock up look at that giggle mode you heard him right Stay with it just enough to keep moving. Jelly, 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 jelly. Hold up there. Did we notice one second? What what happened there? We heard it rev up a little bit more and it slowed down and started digging deeper, didn't it? Gave it just a little too much sand. It's overpowering it and starting to dig. So it's a fine line of where that throttle needs to be. But folks, where did our tire start? Right there. And it's right here. There is not another vehicle on the market that can do that right now. I will say people used to pay me thousands of dollars to add what are known as cutting brakes to their off-road vehicles so that they could do that. You get it with the purchase of your Bronco. Not in oh. that, so we want to be over this way okay. a little more. You're perfect. Okay. Start All turning right. left for me now. Hold that There's line that right center. there. Yep, that's that right sight there. on the peak of the rock. That's okay. where we want it, nice awesome. and steady. Wow. All right, folks. So uh, I was teaching Desmond there how to use that trail sight. So that piece on the hood there, that black piece sticking up, not just for looks or an anchor point, is actually directly over that front tire. It will help you line up that tire on an obstacle uh, so that you can get it uh, where you need it to be to climb that obstacle properly. <laughs> this is so cool. Do we lean or should I avoid it? I think you're okay. okay. <laughs> Sometimes we get a little too. Um, the Bronco will take a lot yeah, of yeah. terrain. So it, yeah. uh, those 35s underneath of it uh, give us Ooh, a, another one. <laughs> I'm just looking for a free wow. ride. This is nice. <laughs> So just in case you're wondering, the training got more advanced and the obstacles got more difficult during the day as the day went through. Uh, remember, we were in these Broncos almost six hours. And yes, we're about to climb this right here. Yeah, we're going up it. I'm gonna do it. this trail around through there you'll come over stop about right there you can come back and watch a few more people do it awesome was that cool baby <laughs> baby you were going i heard you go oh <laughs> <laughs> did i yeah driver 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 steady on that throttle steady 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 oh look at you rock crawling love it Driver, 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 driver. 
Driver, 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 driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were waiting for. Stuck on a rock. There it is. There it is. Amazing. Okay. So this is a Badlands non-Sasquatch package. So let's see how it does up here. Little less ground clearance, but it still has all the bells and whistles. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Bronco, baby. Non-Sasquatch package. Uh, I like to call it a life-changing vehicle because it changed mine. <laughs> I went from uh, living in Tennessee, Tennessee. and uh, working with a different manufacturer to uh, Texas and uh, working with Ford again. So it uh, it definitely changed my life. Those, uh, these si the sights on the hood. Trail sights? Trail sights are yep. awesome. They are. Okay, I'm with our driving instructor slash trainer. His name is Corey. And Corey, uh, let us know how did you how did you come about this awesome job? Uh, well, it um, was one of those things. I, I've been off roading almost my entire life. Uh, over 38 years off roading experience. Um, while doing that, I was an automotive service technician, and I was working part time as a uh, driving instructor for another ma uh, manufacturer. Um, I got a phone call from uh, the program director asking me if I'd want to come out and, and help with this program. A little uh, reserved at first, I'm not going to lie, uh, thinking of Texas going off-road, not uh, maybe exactly those meccas of off-roading, but man, when I got out here, was I surprised with the terrain, the uh, all of the awesome obstacles we have out here to get out and, and use that Bronco on. So it was just one of those uh, sort of fell into it, sort of worked my way into it, just a combination of things to get me to where I am now. That's awesome, man. I just, I just want to know because I mean, I'm, after this video, I'm sure everybody's gonna want your job. So, <laughs> you got one of the coolest jobs on the planet. Well, I appreciate that. It is a lot of fun. It is a lot of work, also, but uh, a <laughs> lot of fun. We're out here to have fun. We're out here to learn. We're out here to teach. Uh, all of that's going on while we're in that Bronco, learning that Bronco, learning how to drive off road, and just having a blast doing it. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. You're welcome. So I'm just realizing that we had three different devices out there recording at the Bronco Off Rodeo, so I have a lot more uh, content coming. Uh, there's most likely going to be a part two to this video, but coming up, I do have some more Maverick content and also uh, Mach E GT content coming up. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you soon.